Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel where you learn AutoCAD step by step from basic to advanced. In today's video, I will show you how to create exercise 19 step by step in AutoCAD. Whether you are a student, beginner or a professional, this tutorial is perfect for you. And yes, if you want the PDF of this exercise, you will find the download link in the description box. So without any delay, let's get started. Step 1. Set up the drawing unit. Open your AutoCAD and start drawing using UN Enter. Select type as a decimal, precision as a 0.00. Essation scale using as a millimeters. Press OK. Now step 2. Draw the main outer circle. As you see in this diagram, this one is outer circle. If you check here, diameter 150. So type C for circle. Click on a specified corner. Press 150 as a diameter. And radius will be 75. So D for diameter 150. Press enter. Now need to create this horizontal and vertically center line. So L for line. First point, use F8 for ortho. Now this one. Select this line, RO for rotate, C for copy as a rotate. Select both line, go to properties, click on line type, use as a central line. And color will be red. Now step 3. Draw the second circle inside. So this one is a second circle. Diameter will be 120. So C for circle. C for circle. Click on center point. D for diameter as a 120 diameter. Now step 4. Draw the center whole circle. So if you see this image, this one is a center circle. And this circle diameter will be 80. So C for circle. D for diameter as a 80 press enter now step 5 draw the 8 holes around the center circle ma for match select this center line to this circle c for circle click on coordinate point diameter as a 12 so d for diameter 1 2 12 select this smaller circle a double R A Y array press enter use as a polar array click on center point press a number of item as a 8 now close array now step 6 need to create these cutouts as you see in this image we need to create these cutout and also this one okay so L for line, click on the center point, ortho off, need to put a value as an angle 45 divided by 2. So we have 22.5. So using tab command outside the circle, tab and put a value 22.5. Press enter. Now select this line using MI for mirror command. Click on this coordinate point to this coordinate point using as a no. Now we need to trim extra line. So TR enter T for trim. This circle select press enter. Click on this one. Now again TR enter T for cutting edge. Select this circle press enter. Click on these lines. Again TR enter trim this part next we need to create this cutting slot so use L for line click on this center point put a value as a 67.5 so use a tab command 67.5 press enter again select this line using MI for mirror command click on this coordinate point to this coordinate point Press no. Now SMS need to trim extra lines. T 
TR double into trim this one and also this one. Need to trim this inner part and also this inner part. Now trim also this one and this one. Need to erase this one. Now step 7. Need to create these inner slots. So first we need to create this first circle. C for circle. Click on center point. Put a diameter. D for diameter as a 30. Now again C for circle. Create another circle with this one. S click on center point. Put a diameter D for diameter as a 40. Now again create one more circle. Which one is this one as a radius 25. So C for circle. Click on center point. Radius as a 25. Press enter. Now we are going to create three circles. We need to work on this second circle. So use O for offset. 10 enter. Click on this center line upside and it will be downside. Use MA for match command. Match from this line to this line. Need to trim. Just we need to zoom this part for more visibility. TR enter. Select T for cutting edge. Select this circle. Press enter. Click on this inner to this inner. Now again TR enter. T for cutting edge. Select this circle. Press enter. Click on this one to this one. And also this inner part. Now SMS need to trim these circles. So TR double enter. Trim this one and this one. If you see now this part almost complete. So we need to trim extra parts. So TR enter T for trim. Select this circle. Press enter. Click on this inner line. And also this inner line. Now again TR double enter. Trim this part to this part. Now we are going to select these extra parts and delete. So we just complete these first cutouts. So need to select these all the parts. Accept these circles. Hold the shift key and select this one. So you need to deselect. Now MI for mirror, click on the center point to this coordinate point, press no. So now we need to trim some parts. So this one TR enter, T for cutting edge, select this line and also this line, press enter and need to trim. If you see very carefully, your drawing almost complete, so need to add line thickness so select your drawing part, select, deselect this circle, go to properties and add a more line thickness for clear your drawing. So we need to add 0 0.30. Now deselect. Now step 8. Add dimensions. To show dimension use the following command. For diameter, type diameter. For radius, use diameter radius. For angle, use dimension angular command or for linear use dimension linear command. Now we complete and add dimension very properly. Step 9. Finalize and save the drawing. Once all elements are completed, double check for any mistake. Save your drawing by clicking Ctrl S for save. So congratulations you have successfully created exercise 19 in AutoCAD step by step. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and help you improve your AutoCAD skill. If you have any doubt, you can comment down. I will try to answer each and every comment. So don't forget to download the PDF from the description box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe my YouTube channel for more AutoCAD tutorials. Join our YouTube channel for personal support and exclusive content to take your learning to the next level.
So thank you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Keep learning. Keep designing. Keep growing. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Take care.